Hey again, everyone. That NES fan back here with you. Uh, another question that I get a lot and that I see all over YouTube is, um, what do you think of the PlayStation Vita, which is the new uh, Sony handheld that is coming out? I believe is it next. Yeah, I think it's uh, next month uh, in February. Um, I could be wrong. Might be February or March. But uh, what do you think of the the Vita and uh, the PS Vita, and how do you think it will compare to the Nintendo 3DS? Right. So we kind of have we're back to kind of that Sony and. Oh, it's always that underlying. It's always been there. That underlying uh, Sony Nintendo rivalry. What do you think of that? Um, I think it's really going to depend on the type of uh, consumer that is buying. Um, you know, that or the type of gamer, I should say, is probably a better word for it. Um, in terms of overall, you know, games. Um, now that by no, you know, mostly the mostly uh, Nintendo games and accessories are, and the systems in general are marketed towards a younger audience. Um, you know, traditionally it's a younger demographic that are playing the games. Uh, so, but that doesn't mean that it's not for everyone. Um, you know, heck the Wii, you know, a lot of people said the Wii was just going to be mostly geared towards, you know, like children or something like that. But then look at all the games that, you know, Nintendo made for adults and adults can exercise with it and they can, you can pretty much do anything you want to on the Wii. I mean, now there's just so many apps on there, um, internet apps, you know, different software apps, uh, Netflix, so it really depends on the type. I mean, so it's not just limited to one age group, but that's what, you know, Nintendo is usually stereotyped to be geared towards one age group. And, and with the 3DS now, of course, with that 3D effect added and games like, um, you know, shooter games like Tom Clancy and uh, Resident Evil and stuff like that, there really isn't, nothing is off limits anymore, I don't think. So to say that, um, you know, one company, you know, Nintendo's trying to focus on everybody, I think. And, um, and Sony is just, um, Sony's doing the same thing too, but I think, you know, Sony will focus more on like it's, um, like the PlayStation Network, for example, right? Like, so the Wii has its own, uh, network, but it's not actually on the 3DS for whatever reason they left that out. So, but Sony is going to continue doing Sony things. Go figure. PlayStation Network, for example, um, you know, cell phone, you know, now it's going to have the 3G in it, the cell phone, you know, technology or something like that. That's going to allow you to play online and to keep in touch with people around you, kind of like the PS3. Um, the 3DS kind of went a little bit of a different route, I think. You can't connect it to, as far as I know, you can't connect it to the uh, original Wii. Um, but, you know, I'm sure the new Wii, which is supposed to be like the Wii U or something, so it's kind of a strange name to it. But, um, yeah, that one is supposed to be compatible with the uh, 3DS. So, you know, it just, you know, the, each company is kind of has its own different, you know, um, perspective and in, in terms of the way it's going, you know, down the road. So it's kind of taken its own, you know, different decision making in terms of what it wants to do as far as con keeping uh, people connected to each other and to the uh, game servers. So, it, that, like I say, it's always interesting to see what um, what they do as far as that's concerned. So, but like I say, I think in general, it, it just depends on your preference. If you like more... I guess action pack games that are a little more in depth, a little more adventure. I think you go with you know PS, maybe go a PS Vita of, or because and you also have the um, PS Vita is also going to have the touch sensor on it, right on the back of it, and it's got the dual uh, cameras on both sides. Even though the 3DS has that, as you know, um, and of course it has the 3G capability. So it really depends. If you're kind of a tech freak, if you like a lot of um, cool little toys on your system, like oh, another one is a uh, PS Vita is going to have electronic compass, right, and a GPS on it. If you like that, I guess you go with the PS Vita, and if you like, if you're an avid uh, PlayStation Network fan like I am, you go with it. I'm not gonna buy it just because I'm cheap and I already have the 3DS anyway. I really like the 3DS, and I'm still buying games for it. Um, so it's gonna depend on the gamer's preference, really, guys. If you're a tech freak, if you're a gadget freak, you're gonna want to go with, uh, I think, the Vita on this one, even though it doesn't have a 3D screen. So, but it does have that impressive re resolution OLED. Uh, touchscreen to it, and um, I think it's really cool. So I think they're both great systems. Um, I prefer the 3DS, but if you're if you're not me, then I guess you go with the uh, the Vita. So, but it's definitely worth checking out. I think uh, at least taking a look at, it and maybe, who knows, maybe you'll like it. So those are my uh, those are my feelings on uh, the uh, PlayStation Vita. Oh, and another thing, competition does make us better, and right. So I definitely think I definitely want to see Sony do well with this. I want to see them provide, put as much pressure on Nintendo as possible so that Nintendo can keep making good games. Competition is very important, and like I say, so hopefully they can keep uh, turning up the heat on Nintendo. And I hope this rivalry will keep going on because as it goes on, as this continues, I think we're going to see a lot of cool stuff come out of it. 
So that's all for now. And that's, uh, well, screensaver just came up there. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I think we're still filming, though. All right. So uh, that'll be all for now. That's that NES fan signing off, guys. Uh, take care for now.